Hello, Lori here. Again, another recipe for you. Today we're going to do a simple, easy chicken pot pie with a little twist. So, I'm going to show you how to make it. I hope you enjoy it. Alright, so for our pot pie today, you're going to need some chicken broth, a half a cup of melted butter or one stick of butter, a can of cream of chicken, red lobster cheesy biscuit mix, craft cheese or any type of cheese that you want, a chicken, one chicken. I cooked a, a whole chicken, cut it all up, so I'm going to use the chicken. Your measuring cup, a bowl, a whisk, of course. A 9 by 13 baking dish that I've already seasoned with Pam, non cooking spray. And you're going to preheat your oven to 400. You want to have that started. All right, so with your melted butter, okay, let me move all these ingredients out of your way because we're going to make it together today, a little different than I used to do. All right, you're going to put your melted butter evenly all over the bottom of the pan, okay? Make sure that's all swished around. Then you're going to layer your chicken in there, okay? I let mine cool down just a little bit. Because you don't want to be touching it when it's hot. Unless you wear gloves or you can handle the heat. <laughs> All right. Now, you could use more chicken, but it's just me and Tim. And then, of course, we're going to let the dogs have the leftovers. <laughs> All right. So you've layered the chicken. All right. Next, you're going to use vegetables. You can use canned or frozen. I'm using the frozen. You can use any kind of vegetable you want. I prefer peas and corn, okay? Let me get my scissors. Oh, actually, I have a knife I could use. So, what you're going to do, can is easier, of course, and faster for you. You just pop your can and go. But with the cooking time, to me, I find they get a little soggy. So without interrupting, you're just going to spray it evenly on your chicken, your vegetables, whatever mix that you're using. And you could use as much as you want, but don't interfere with those layers as much as possible because this is a layering thing. You see, I'm just kind of spreading it out. All right. Next, you're going to take, got to get my milk. Let's see. Because you're making, I'm making this with you guys. It's the first time for everything. So, all right. I'm going to take and make my biscuits. So with my biscuits, I am going to use... You're not going to use the garlic herb mix, okay? You're just going to pour this in. You're gonna, it says two cups, but you know what? You're going to use the whole little package because there's just a little left over, okay? At this point, you're going to do two cups of milk. That all in there. You're going to whisk this. It's going to be runny. It's not going to be a thick batter like you're thinking like Jiffy cornbread mixture or pancake mixture. Just try to get as many lumps as you can. So it's nice and creamy. All right. Now with this, I know it seems weird. You're going to pour this mixture evenly. Just go back and forth till you can coat the whole thing because you don't want to stir it or mix up those layers. Just get all that biscuit mix over the top. All right. Now, what you're going to do next, let me rinse my bowl because I need the bowl again. You can 
can have separate bowls, but why dirty up more dishes, right? Make it, this is about working smarter, not harder. All right. You're going to take a can of cream of chicken. And you're going to do two cups of your chicken broth. You're going to mix that all in. You're going to whisk this until it's all blended, nice and creamy. All right, when that's done, now you're gonna go over that mixture and you're gonna pour it evenly all the way around. All right, now, it should look like this. You're gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes, 45 to 60 minutes. So 45 minutes to an hour. At the 40 minute mark, you might want to go and check it and see how it's doing because some ovens cook faster, some cook slower. But once again, preheated your oven to 400, put it on the middle rack, uncovered, and let it cook. All right, it's, it is in my oven. And we will check back and see what it looks like. For 40 minutes, it's almost done. It's going to need to go the last 20. I put a little bit of cheese over the top. That's what the cheese came in for. Because remember, I'm using Red Lobster's cheddar cheese biscuits for my topping for my pot pie. All right, it's going to go back in for another 20 minutes to finish cooking. But you see that bubbly goodness. All right, I'll be right back. All right. This is the finished product. Look at that. Bubbly, juicy pot pie. Now, what I'm going to do, nice and crispy, as you see, it's got. I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then I'll show you what this creamy goodness is all about and why the rave is all about the new chicken pot pie. All right. Hear that crisp from the cheese. His hands in the way, but I want to show you. Look at how juicy. It's going to be hot. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I told you it was hot. Good. All hot. that steam. Yep. So, what? Yeah, put your spoon down for a minute. <laughs> yeah. There you go. All right, so this is my version of a chicken pot pie. Easy breezy. You, like I said, make your own chicken or buy a rotisserie any way you want it. Use Bisquick, use Jiffy, or use the Red Lobster biscuits like I did. Add cheese, don't add cheese. Your choice. But here's the proof. This is what you get. Any vegetable of your choice. Look at that. Nice chicken pot pie. There you go. Hope to see you at Lori's World for this recipe and more.